toes toes up tall, shoulders back. So draw the belly button into the spine. Inhale. Exhale, lower the head tight and turn as you roll down. And then just relax the arms, relax your neck feet. So try to press tail going up straight to the ceiling so those hamstrings get a good stretch. Your eyeline is through the knees. So shoulders and neck are relaxed. Inhale. And then exhale, slowly roll up. One vertebra at a time, tight in those abdominals, up tall, shoulders back. Inhale, exhale, curling down. Inhale, and exhale, slowly roll up. Inhale, exhale, curling down. Raising that tailbone up, inhale, exhale, slowly curl up. Last one, inhale, exhale, curling down. Bending into the legs a little bit more. Either hold onto the ankles or put your hands onto the floor. Again, bringing the body and the hip closer to the thighs. <coughs> Align through the knees. You're going to inhale. Exhale, straighten both the legs. And then inhale, bend. <coughs> and then exhale, straighten for two. And bend. Exhale, straighten for three, and bend. Exhale, straighten for four, and bend. Straighten for five, and bend. Straighten for six, and bend. Straighten for seven. And bend. Last one for eight. And bend. <coughs> now from here, start sending your glutes back and see if you're trying to sit back onto your chair and your weights more onto your heels. And then you're just going to float your arms up. So make sure you're not arching into your lower back. So tilt pubic bone forward, tuck those ribs in. And really press those thumbs as far back as you can and try to sit down a little bit deeper. Keeping abs in, weight back. So remember weights on the heels, you can even lift up those toes. And then from here we're going to do little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then from here, just come all the way up to standing. As I in, we go to calf raise. Let me inhale up. Exhale, slowly coming down, bending into the legs, and just reach the arms to the front. And we're gonna come up for two. And then slowly coming down. <clears throat> and we reach up for three. And slowly down. And we reach up for four. And slowly down. Coming up for five. And slowly down. Up for six. <clears throat> and slowly down. Reaching up for seven. And slowly down. Last one, up for eight. Now keep your arms up and just lower the heels. Keeping abs in, we inhale, side bend. 
exhale and return to the other side, inhale over, exhale return, inhale over, exhale return, inhale over, exhale return, inhale over, exhale return. Inhale over, exhale return. From here, just take your arms to you with the palms facing the ceiling, abs are in, keeping hips forward with an exhale towards, and then we return to the center. And then we twist over to the left, inhale to the center. And we twist over to the right, and to the center, over to the left, and return, over to the right, and return, over to the left, and return, reaching the arms back down, and then we inhale, and exhale slowly, curling <laughs> tailbone, reach out to the ceiling, just hold it here, breathe. Take your left hand, place it on the outside of the right ankle. Reach your right arm up, ally up to the ceiling. Nice stretch into the back. Breathe. And then slowly place it down, change sides. So right hand out on the left ankle and we reach up. And then slowly return. Now we're going to go into a deep squat. So our goal is to eventually have our feet first distance, but you're probably going to need to open them wider and you're going to come down into a deep spot. So when you come down, you want to have your heels down. Okay? If you can't get your heels down, open your legs wider. Then if your heels are down, you want to make sure your feet are parallel. Okay, if they're parallel and you find it's too easy, you're welcome to bring them a little bit closer. Okay, you can keep your arms to the front, rest your head, just breathe. And then you want to start trying to bring your back up as tall as you can. So try and get the thighs to the front of your body. Just hold and breathe. And then from here, come up onto your toes. And then you can just place your knees down onto the mat. Okay. So knees are underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders, open fingers nice and wide. And then we're going to <coughs> cat stretch. So we inhale, lift the head. Stick your chest through the arms, press your shoulder blades down your back and arch into your lower back, only if it's nice on your spine. And then exhale, we curl chin to chest. Tilting cubic bone forward, rounding up to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Exhale, curl. <coughs> Inhale, lengthen and extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen. 
Big ten curl. Inhale, lengthen and extend. Exhale, curl. And then just return your spine to neutral. Keep belly button into the spine. Make sure here you're not sitting in your shoulders. So you're pressing away from the floor. We inhale, lift the right arm and the left leg. And then you're going to open the arm and leg out to the side. Slowly return and place it down. We're going to do the same side again. So we lift right arm, left leg. We open out to the side, return and place it down. And again, we inhale up for three, exhale open, inhale return, exhale we place it down. And lift up for four, open, close and lower. Up for five, open, close and lower. Up for six, open, close and lower. Up for seven, open, close and lower. Last one up for eight, open, close and lower. We change sides. So we inhale that left arm right leg and we open. Close and we place it down and we reach up for two. Open, close and lower. Up three. Open, close and lower. Lovely up four and lower. Up for five and lower. Up for six. And lower for seven. And lower. Last one for eight. And place it down. Then from here, you're going to come up, reach your arms to the front. Do a little your pubic bone forward, keeping belly back into the spine and shoulders under your ears. We're going to inhale and hinge back. So from your knees, feel those thighs stretch. And then exhale with two. And we inhale, hinge back for two. Exhale with two. And we hinge back for three. And for two. Hinge back for four. And for two. Coming back for five, tighten those abdominals. And for two. Hinge back for six and three. And take it back for seven and return. Last one for eight. Now you're going to hold it there. You're going to lower your glutes and press back up. And come down for two and back up. Those thighs are working. Come down for three. And left, down for four, and left, down for five, and left, coming down for six, and left, down for seven, and left, last one for eight, and left. And then you're going to put your hands back down onto the mat. We bring them a little bit more forward so we can do some push ups. So we're going to do ladies' push ups. You can do man push ups if you're strong enough. So knees stay down. I like to lift my feet up, but you can keep them on the floor if you prefer. And then just bring your glutes forward. You want to be in a nice straight line from the knees to the top of the head. Keep shoulders out of your ears, tilting pubic bone forward, tighten those abdominals. And inhale, lower the nose towards the mat. And exhale, press away. <clears throat> Elbows hugging the sides of your body. Inhale down for two. Exhale. Inhale, coming down for three. 
exhale back. Inhale down for four, exhale back. Inhale down for five, slowly up. Down for six, and left. Down for seven, and left. Last one for eight, and left. Now from here, you're just going to come down onto your stomach. <coughs> Okay, you're going to have your one hand to the front <coughs> so that you can lie on it. And then you're going to take your leg and you're going to grab the ankle. <coughs> so we want to stretch out that quad. So you're going to make sure first that you are pressing your pubic bone down into the mat. Just from pressing your pubic bone down into the mat, that thigh should stretch a little bit more. Then, you're going to take your heel, press it into the glute, or if you're flexible enough, to the side of the glute. Then also, think about bringing your foot more towards your head. Just to increase that quad stretch. Hold it, breathe. Now you're going to keep holding on to that foot. <coughs> Opposite arm straightens to the front and your chin comes down onto the mat. <coughs> okay, so from here we're going to inhale and we're going to lift the upper body, lift the arm, keep the foot back into the hand and try to lift that thigh up. Keeping belly button into the spine. Just hold it here and breathe. And then slowly place it down. And then we're going to change sides. So you're going to bend, grab the ankle. So make sure you first press your pubic bone into the mat. <coughs> and then press the heel into the glute or to the side of the glute. <coughs> and also think about bringing your, your foot more towards your head. Increasing that stretch on your quad. Just hold and breathe. And then you're going to straighten your arm. Turn onto the mat. And we inhale, left upper body, arm and the leg. Belly right into the spine, shoulders out of the ears. <laughs> yeah. Dogs are howling. Maybe an ambulance is going so good. No, it's just we're alone. <laughs> How can we be alone? <laughs> that might help with this ambulance or something. Oh, really? Oh, and then slowly come down. Bring your hands to heart centre, not to heart centre, to about mid -room. And you're going to come up onto all fours. <coughs> and then you're going to tuck your toes under. And you're going to press up into a down dog. So you can start off with bent legs. And you're going to press your tailbone up towards the ceiling. <coughs> Lengthen your spine as if you're trying to get your head onto the mat between the hands. Then you're going to press your chest towards your thighs. Then if you're happy here, start trying to straighten the legs. Trying to press the heels down. Hold your down dog. I'm just going to open this door here so that I can you see. Maybe I'll stop howling. 
We're coming from all the way to the sea. That's not much coming. Okay, let's go back Keep raising your chest to your thighs. Nice full body stretch. Now lift your eye line to between your hands and you're going to step your right foot forward. If you can't get it all the way there, just help it there. Okay, so your front ankle and knee in line with each other. And press down with those hips. Hold it. Now from here, try and keep your legs as they are. So I want you to like lift up. So we're gonna stay nice and low. We're gonna lift our chest up and reach our arms out to the T. And we just hold it. So we want the spine to be working. So the back, so the left hip flexor should be stretching. The spine is working. Make sure your inner thigh is working so you're not completely that knee fall in. Keep breathing. Tighten the tummy muscles. And then you can place your hands down. Now we're just going to step this right foot back and go back up into a down dog. Okay, then we're going to the other side. Our line lifts between the hands, left foot steps forward. So make sure ankle and knee in line with each other. We're pressing down with our steps. We just hold it here, we breathe. And then from here, legs stay. So you stay in low, lift up, body arms come to it. <laughs> oh, this is my weak leg, I can feel it. Oh, oh, breathe. So we're just going to rest here, breathe. Okay, so opening the door didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be next to you. <laughs> and then start softening the knees. Try to keep these heels down for as long as you can. And then you can slowly lift heels up. And then place the glutes down. Quickly have a water break. Oh gosh, this dogs. distance apart. You're going to lengthen the arms. So you want to press those arms and those shoulders into the mat. So I feel like you're opening out your chest, 
Lengthen through the back of your neck. So you're looking towards your knees. Inhale. Exhale. You're going to flatten the back onto the mat. Scooping through the pelvis. Slowly lift the hips up. One vertebra at a time. So inner thighs are working to keep those knees first distance. Inhale. And exhale, slowly curling down. One vertebra at a time. Pelvis returns to neutral. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lift. Press down with those arms, press down with the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, slowly curling down. Inhale, exhale, slowly lift. As you're lifting, think about transferring your knees towards the feet without moving the feet. Think about bringing your heels more towards you. Inhale, and exhale, slowly curling down. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lift, pressing arms and shoulders into the mat. Inhale, and exhale, slowly curling down. Inhale, exhale, slowly lift. Now this time you're going to try and lift as high as you can. So I want you to think about trying to get your sternum towards your chin. Then, without moving the feet, think about pressing this time your feet away from you and then lift even higher. So you want to feel the muscles in the lower back working hard. Glutes, hamstrings are also working, inner thighs are working to keep those knees first Pressing arms and shoulders into the mat, lifting even higher. Hold it here, breathe. Try to squeeze those glutes a little bit more. Now we want to try and keep the height of the hips. So we're going to squeeze our left glute, our left hamstring, our left inner thigh, and we're going to straighten the right leg up to the ceiling. Hold it. So left leg is working hard. Now we're going to do little pulses. So you lower your hips a little bit, and exhale, squeeze up. Down for two, squeeze up. Down for three, squeeze up. Down for four, squeeze up. Down five, squeeze up. Down for six, and squeeze up. Down seven, squeeze up. Four, eight, squeeze up. Bend the leg, place it down. Hold it here. So again, try to get that height. So sternum towards the chin, pressing feet away from you so you can lift even higher. Activate inner thighs. Press arms and shoulders into the mat. Rebreathing. This time we squeeze right glute, right hamstring, right inner thigh. We float the left leg up. We straighten it up to the ceiling. And then we're going to do little pulses. So we lower the hips a little and we squeeze up. Down for two, squeeze up. Down three, squeeze up. Down for four, squeeze up. Down five, squeeze up. Down for six, squeeze up. Down seven, squeeze up. Last one for eight, and squeeze up. The legs that foot down, inhale, and exhale, slowly curl down. Really lengthen your spine as you're curling down. 
Then I want you to open your feet a little bit wider than your hips. And then you're going to squeeze your knees together. So I don't want you to just raise the knees together. I really want you to squeeze them hard. And then I want you to take your feet a little bit further away from you. And just flex the feet a little bit. Not so much that the shins are working, but just basically so they're off the floor. Circle the arms around and lace the fingers. Hands come behind the head. So we are squeezing those knees. Sink belly button, tighten the waist, inhale. And exhale, lift up into a chest lift. So you're trying to get the shoulder blades off the mat, pressing your head into your hands. We inhale, lower the upper body just a little. And then we exhale up for one. Inhale, lower. Exhale up for two. Inhale, lower. Exhale up for three. Inhale, lower. Exhale up for four. Inhale, lower. Exhale up for five. Inhale, lower. Exhale up for six. Inhale, lower. Exhale up for seven. Inhale, lower. Up for eight. Now hold it here. Pelvis and legs stay still as you inhale. The legs rotate the upper body over to the right. And then inhale to the center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale over to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, return. Exhale over to the right. Inhale, return. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, return. Exhale to the right. Inhale, return. Last one over to the left. Inhale, return. And then lower the head. Now this time, I want you to bring the feet together. So you're going to open your knees with the soles of the feet together. Okay, first you can just raise the stretching the hips a bit. Breathe. Then I want you to lift the knees just a little bit. Just so that you're holding the knees instead of them just hang. And then you're going to tighten the tummy, tighten the waist, and then again we inhale. Exhale, come up into chest lift. Elbows stay wide, pressing your head into your hands. And then we inhale, lower the upper body just a little. Exhale, up, try to get shoulder blades off the mat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, left. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up, sinking that belly button. Inhale, lower. Exhale, left. Now from here, pelvis and legs are still as you inhale. Exhale, rotate the upper body over to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, return. Exhale over to the right. Inhale, return. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, return. Exhale to the right. Inhale, return. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, return. Exhale over to the right. Inhale, return. Last one over to the left. And return. And then lower the head. And you can slowly bring the knees into the chest. Just give them a quick squeeze.
And then you're going to open your arms to a T, palms facing the ceiling, and legs come to tabletop. So we squeeze our knees together, we point into the feet, and you want to try and keep those knees together, and you want to keep them level with each other. So we inhale, take the legs over to the right. So you really have to lengthen out of your left hip to keep those knees together and to keep them level. From me, you're going to exhale, straighten the legs, use those abdominals. Inhale, bend, and then exhale, return the legs to the center. <coughs> <clears throat> Inhale over to the left. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Now we use this right oblique to exhale and turn the legs. Inhale over to the right. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale and return. Inhale over to the left. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. And slowly return. Inhale over to the right. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. And slowly return. Last one, over to the left. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. And slowly return. Now we're locking our knees in this position. So you're trying to press your back into the mat, tilting pubic bone to the ceiling. And then we lower the right leg down to the toe tap. So movements out of your hips and abs are working hard. Inhale. Exhale, we change legs one. Exhale, we change two, change three, deepen those abdominals, change four, pressing it back into the mat, change five. Exhale, change six, exhale, change seven, and then change eight. We're going to try going a little bit quicker, so we inhale, and exhale, change four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one another right leg straight but down along the left point into that foot and then straight to the left leg up and you're going to flex so sink those abdominals as much as you can and really press through the heels you can get this left leg nice and straight we inhale exhale circle the leg towards the body down and around for one inhale Exhale, circle two. Exhale, circle three. Exhale, circle four. Exhale, circle five. Exhale, circle six. Exhale, circle seven. I don't know, plant my dog, my dog's just had a bite off. Circle eight. Reverse and inhale. Exhale, circle away from the body, down and around for one. Exhale, circle two. Exhale, circle three. Exhale, circle four. Exhale, circle five. Exhale, circle six. Exhale, circle for seven. And last one for eight. And then just hug that knee into your chest. So don't just hold it there. I want you to really press as hard as you can into your chest. And then you're going to use your right hand and you're going to pull that leg across the body just till it stretches. Uh, 
and then slowly return. And then you're going to lean the back leg, get down along the back point of that foot, bend the right leg, straight up to the ceiling, and you're going to flex a really press through the heel. Abs are in the inhale, exhale, circle the leg towards the body, down and around for one. Exhale, circle two. Exhale, circle three. Exhale, circle four. Exhale, circle five. Exhale, circle six. Exhale, circle seven. And circle four, eight. We reverse it. Inhale. Exhale, circle away from the body, down and around for one. Exhale, circle two. Exhale, circle three. Exhale, circle four. Exhale, circle five. Exhale, circle for six. Circle for seven. And last one for eight. And then hug that knee into your chest. So press hard into your chest. Breathe. And then taking that leg across the body just so it stretches. And then slowly return. Lean for that right leg down along the mat. So we're going to squeeze the legs here, point into the feet. Reach the arms up behind, your palms are facing each other. So don't lift your back arch yet. So you're going to press down the throat, sinking with the knee button. You're going to inhale, lift the arms, followed by the knee and chest. And then exhale, you're going to lift just so the shoulder blades off the mat. You're making sure you're pressing that lower back down and tilting pubic bone to the ceiling. Inhale, and then exhale slowly, coming back down, ribs are pressing into the mat. Inhale, lifting the arms, followed by the head and chest. Exhale, reaching. Inhale, and exhale slowly. Inhale, lifting the arms, head and chest. Exhale, inhale, and exhale slowly. Inhale, lifting the arms, head and chest. Exhale, reaching up, same those abdominals. Inhale, and exhale down. Now, if you can, you're going to come all the way up. So we inhale, lift the arms, followed by the head and chest. And exhale, slowly, all the way up. Shoulders and hips are in line, back is rounded. Inhale, exhale, slowly, cooling down. Now, if you have to put your hands onto the mat to help you up, you're not allowed to come all the way up. Then you just do the little chest work. Inhale, lift the arms, head and chest. So first we exhale and we lift just a little bit. So if this is as far as you can go, you hold it there. If you're strong enough, we inhale and exhale, come forward. Inhale. And exhale, slowly curling back down. Ribs pressing down as you reach the arms back. Inhale, lifting the arms, head and chest. Exhale, lifting just a little. And then we inhale. Exhale, all the way back. Inhale. And exhale, slowly curling down.
Last one. Inhale, lifting the arms, head and chest. Exhale, lifting just a little. Inhale. Exhale. As we inhale, exhale, curling down. Now, as you're curling down, bend into the legs, circle the arms around. And hands come behind the head. And we're going to float the right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop. Squeeze the knees, pointing into the feet. So ribs are pressing down. You're tilting pubic bone to the ceiling so you can get that lower back flat onto the mat. So this abs can work a little harder. Inhale. Exhale, coming up into a chest lift. Pressing your head a little bit into your hands. Try to keep shoulder blades lifted off the mat. Sink belly button a little bit deeper. We inhale, straighten the legs as low as you can go without arching the back. Exhale and then turn. Inhale, we straighten for two. Exhale, return. Inhale, straighten for three. Exhale, return. Inhale, straighten for four. Exhale, return. Inhale, straighten for five. And return. And we straighten for six. And return. And we straighten for seven. And return. Last one for eight. And return. Now from here, straighten just the right leg. Nice strong legs, shoulder blades still off the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Change legs one. Change two. Change three. Change four. Change five. Change six. Change seven. Change eight. Last one, we rotate to the bend leg. Inhale. Exhale, we change one, and we exhale, rotate two, change three, exhale, change four, change five, change for six, change seven, last one for eight, return to the centre, just hide the knees. And then from here, you're going to lie on your side. Reach the bottom arm up, abs are in. So we're going to lift the upper body and the legs. So make sure you're going to keep your heels together and belly button in. So we inhale, exhale, lift the upper body and the legs. And slowly down. Exhale, lift up for two. Inhale, lower. Exhale, third. Slowly down. Up for four. And lower. Reaching up for five. And lower. Lifting up for six. And lower. Lifting up for seven. And lower. Last one, up for eight, and lower. Now you're gonna bend your bottom leg, and then I want you to lift the weight off the mat. So you wanna create this little space, and you wanna keep that space, so this bottom oblique is forced to work too. We inhale, exhale, we lift the leg up, and slowly, up for two, and lower. Up for three, up for four, up for five, up for six, up for seven, up for eight. Hold it there, point that foot, we're going to do big circles forward. So we inhale, exhale, we circle one, exhale, circle two, circle three, circle four, Circle for five, circle six, reverse it, and we circle one, make sure you still got that little space. Circle two, circle three, 
circle four, circle five, and circle six. Now we're going to do small circles forward. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Come up. We can give that leg a quick stretch. So try and keep both your sitting bones down. And just breathe. Side. Okay, abs are in. Keep those heels together. We lift upper body and the legs. Inhale and we exhale up. Inhale up. Exhale up two. Inhale up. Exhale up for three. Slowly lower. Coming up for four and lower. Up for five and lower. Lifting up for six and lower. Up for seven and lower. Up for eight and we lower. Bend the bottom leg. Abs in, remember to make that space between the body and the mat. Let me exhale, lift the top leg up. Inhale down. Reaching up for two and lower. Up for three and lower. Up for four and lower. Up for five. Up for six. Up for seven, up for eight. Hold it here, point at the big circles and we circle forward one. Exhale, circle two, circle three, circle four, circle five, circle six. Reverse it. Inhale, exhale, we circle one. Circle two, circle three, circle four, circle five, circle six, big circles forward, uh, small circles forward, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, reverse it, one, two, three, four, Five and six. Come up, give it a quick stretch. Keep sitting bones down and just breathe. And you're going to come down onto your stomach. And I want you to take your arms, squeeze them tightly against your body. So not on the floor, not grabbed around your bum, on the side seams. Squeeze arms tightly against your body, squeeze shoulder blades, eye line on the mat. We inhale, lift the upper body, and exhale, contract down. Inhale, up for two. Exhale down. Inhale, up for three. Squeeze those arms. Squeeze shoulder blades. Exhale, down. Inhale, coming up for four. Exhale, up. 
Inhale back for five. Slowly down. Inhale back for six. Slowly down. Inhale back for seven. Slowly down. Inhale, lengthen up for eight. Slowly down. Now you're going to add the legs to that. Try to squeeze the legs together, keep heels together. And we inhale, lift up the body and the legs. Exhale down. Inhale, coming up for two. Slowly down. Our line stays on the mat. Inhale, lengthening up for three. Slowly down. Inhale up for four. Slowly down. Inhale up for five. Slowly down. Reaching up for six. Slowly down. Up for seven. Slowly down. Last one up for eight. Now hold it here. We open our legs, we open our arms to a T. And then we squeeze, try to lift high. We open for two, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open for three, and squeeze. Open for four, and squeeze. Open for five, and squeeze. Open for six, and squeeze. Open for seven, Squeeze, last one for eight, and squeeze, and relax. Hands come to mid rib, just come up onto all fours. And then you're just going to round your spine up to the ceiling, chin to chest. Pelvic then breathe. And then bring the toes together, open the knees, stretch back into a rest position, lengthen with the arms, and we just breathe. And that's our session, so when you feel ready, you can make your way up.